Jones. I always wanted a flamethrower. Foam runners aren't the way to go, Kanye. I'm gonna sue you, buddy. Okay, that I thought would. you were gonna say give random people kisses and hugs. I was gonna say, whoa, 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 whoa. No. It's, it's so, so sad. Mad. It's just like <laughs> in a bunch of little pieces. You're like, it's like devastation. Oh, like at that point, just throw it away. First world problems. I know. Laugh is like a box of chocolates. That's great. <laughs> so, when are you gonna cut your hair? Is Valentine's Day like cringy or is it sweet? Um. There's a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> if Pat can do it, we, we can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> Man, I was sitting on the couch growling like a bear. These spirits were just. Give us your rendition. Come on. <laughs> da -da, so, dun, dun, dun. so the weather today, though, it really does suck. Yes, yeah, it does. it's rough. It's not. But it's I don't have to shovel it, so it could be worse. That's true. That's. I mean. Here's the thing. I'm not the type of person who shuffles anyway. <laughs> I literally would just keep walking over the snow and Thank it just you. becomes slowly from me melting it and walking on it. It's a solid block of ice. Yeah. That's then what I do. slip and fall on the ice though. Um, then I go out with a like with a shovel and I like hit it and crack it so that you don't slip. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. That works, I guess. I mean Tim and I just have like a disagreement on like using salt on the concrete. Yeah, the concrete. Yeah. Do you have a whole lot of concrete? Well, not now. I guess this was in our old house. The house right now is just all slush and Do you mud. guys not like yeah. salt? So I'm like, I'm just going to throw salt out there. And uh -huh. Tim's like, no, that will pockmark like our new concrete. Mm. And I don't care. <laughs> I just want a gun. not going to go shovel it. And he normally works like nine to like nine most of the days. So if it mm -hmm. snows, he's not going to be home to shovel it. Yeah. So yeah. who's going to shovel it? Exactly. So put the salt out, man. <laughs> what is wrong with just you got it like Tim. the heated concrete. <laughs> that is literally where we get to that's every a thing? single time. <laughs> that's a thing. Up yeah. in like out west, like in the mountains, basically every like driveway has it. Not all of them, but they have to have it because it just snows here? so much. Right? I, <laughs> I just learned know. about this like two years ago because Tim was like, well, what we really need to do. And I was like, well, we already poured the concrete, so it doesn't matter. It can't yeah. be heated now. But... Yeah, That's I don't know how much go. it is. I always wanted a flamethrower, and people that said, <laughs> "What will you do with it?" <laughs> Melt, the Melt, snow. The snow. Melt the snow. Melt the snow. Driveway. <laughs> oh my gosh, we should just try this. Yeah, we I just need a bunch new of new segment. <laughs> Pat in the fire fall. I will be there with bells on. <laughs> oh, that'd be oh so funny. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. What a way to handle snow. I, I, it's the only way. You'd have to get a Fine big throwers. one though. Like yeah, a, straps on your back. Oh, like mm. yeah, yeah, a pack one. So yeah. almost a rocket, like on your a rocket pack. Yeah, on it's your back. it's big. Yeah, Zippo made them. Oh, really? What? The, the, this the, is these are actual people. people. Yeah. Yeah, this is a real thing. What? It's a real thing. Oh man, let me look this up. I've seen I'm some of them. This. I haven't. I've seen like I don't know if you know Elon Musk like made one. He I didn't like, know that. He has like a. It's called the Boring Company. He made one. I've seen some like other ones, but I've never really like actually looked at. Is it like expensive? I'm sure. I'm not even sure if you're allowed to own one. I'm not sure. There is some laws in place. Wait, like, M67 flamethrower. Oh, that's no, no, a tank. That's, that's not, not what we want. That's uh, he's no. We don't want the tank. <laughs> I mean, that'll definitely pop marks in your face. <laughs> <laughs> no more <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> No more concrete. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that, gosh. Uh, there you dude. go. There you go. Dude. Oh, man. Nice. Let's get awesome. one of those. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. He made that. And that's Some like real Call of Duty little. stuff. What? Dude, that's not Call of Duty. That's <laughs> like zombie God. apocalypse. We need to kill the monsters. That is awesome. <laughs> I want that. That's excellent. That's it, so great. Yeah. I, I've never been allowed to have one, though. Yeah, so I've know. had to shovel instead. Yeah. yeah sure. Well, I think you should just be like me. Just don't shovel. Just, <laughs> just don't shovel. And just talk to your wife about putting salt down. <laughs> <laughs> we got it a little better because we got like a front loader on our tractor. So we could use that to push snow. Mm. Didn't have to shovel so much. Another reason to be on the Kubota. Amen. Amen. Kubota. I don't even have a tractor. so it's sad. You're missing out. I you know. Oh, one. I know I'm missing out. <laughs> <laughs> They're magical things. Yes, they are. <laughs> Kubota. <laughs> Wait, what's its name uh, again? Or Big she? Orange? Big, Big Orange. orange. Uh -huh. Big Orange. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. a good Big thing. Orange. So, okay, most people, at least in Ohio, like, if you're going to have winter, they would rather it be rainy than snowy. Oh, my gosh. So, you're on the rainy train. I know he's on the snowy train. No, I'm, I'm on the snowy train. I have a wife who absolutely gets giddy when it snows, so I like to watch her be that happy. Happy I'll wife, shovel. happy life, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll shovel. Like it's, that. No, it's not that big a deal. I've been yeah. doing it for a long time. 
Malachi <laughs> stepped in a lot of puddles try. today. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, foam runners aren't the way to go, Kanye. I'm gonna sue you, buddy. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. I'm joking, I'm joking. controversial. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> edit, wow. edit, edit, edit. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. I would prefer snow because I live in a neighborhood full of old, old people. Oh, oh you want money? Uh, He's gonna rake it in or shovel it. In. I guess you'd be shoveling. <laughs> yeah, it shoveling in. that money. You shoveling know what I mean? That money. No rain. No, eh, I could care less. Yeah. But- it yeah. rains enough. It rains the rest it really of the year. Does. And honestly, like we don't need rain this time of year. I don't get it. Nothing's growing. <laughs> That's true. So <laughs> why is it this our driest time? I don't get it. Uh, but you know, okay, so we're in February. Uh, February is equal to what some people would consider their most favorite holiday and what others would consider their least favorite, if not hated holiday, which is Valentine's Day. Ah, Valentine's Day, <laughs> man. Gotta love them. I well. don't actually... <laughs> know that i've ever cared that much which is bad maybe. i don't think it should count as a holiday i only it's cared so when we used to do the co-op ice skating you had to make like the little shoebox things that's oh, the yeah, only yeah, time yeah, i would yeah. care did about you ever win one of those oh, i don't think i ever won maybe i did Man. i had some good ones I just what was your some, best what was your best my one best one oh man I had I made like a Starbucks cup one time. I like got a trash can. It wasn't even a shoebox. I got like <laughs> so a trash can. I made no, but it was good. It was cool. But then I got beat out. I think someone made like a full on like vending machine. Oh wow! And I was like Caleb Farber. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Not to drop so, names or anything like yeah, that. Sorry. I tried. I really did. Getting beat by a vending machine. Huh? That's didn't pretty quite, terrible. So then, there. is Valentine's Day like cringy or is it sweet? Cringy. Ah. See what you did. I think it's cringe. Nah, I know. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I do. I, I. It's fun to tell the people you love you love I mean, them, right? Yeah. You guys I, I both should... got somebody. So. <laughs> yeah. Of yeah. course you like That's it. True. I, I usually get in my room and cry all day. I usually get a hug and a kiss and a card and some candy. That's a pretty good day. It's yeah, not terrible. Some... Maybe we just need to normalize for you single people, like just giving people random people around you chocolate. And that would probably make it better. Okay, that I thought would. you were going to say give random people kisses and hugs. I was going to say, whoa, 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 no, wait, no, wait, wait. No, no, that no. might be a good way to <laughs> get it a lawsuit, actually. <laughs> I'm good. We're uh, good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, please don't do that. Go to prison. That's not good. What? Uh, I said going to prison if you do that. <laughs> you can't go back there. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Back? <laughs> what? You can't go back there. What is this? Well, okay, what'd you do? Uh, I stole a piece of candy. You stole mm. someone's heart. No, I'm just Whoa. kidding. <laughs> stole someone's candy. And not to be that cringy, and... but here we are. Yeah. yeah. No, I can't just... go back. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Pat, what is your favorite Valentine's Day candy? Uh, the chocolate ones that I don't know what's inside till I eat it. Uh, uh, so, like the box of chocolate? Yeah. 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 Life mm. is like a yeah. box of chocolate. Yeah. That was a good That's imitation. A, it was not. It was not at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good, what, what about you, Malachi? Favorite Valentine's Day candy? Uh, I don't really have one. Pro- what are those like uh, chocolate balls? Like that, the malt balls? Yeah, they have them upstairs in the uh, uh, business office. Uh, yeah, like, like Robin's eggs or yeah, whatever. I like those. Those ones are pretty good. Those are pretty good. What about you, Grant? Oh... Used to be like Fun Dip. I used to love Fun, fun Dip, dip so much. Days, yeah. <laughs> That's Valentine's that, candy. That, if it yeah. comes, I don't know. We're, we're the age difference here is probably the thing. But when I was a kid and I'd go to co ops or whatever, you had like the Fun Dip, but it was like a card. And you could be like to your friends or whatever, and then you'd give it to them. So it is a great Valentine's uh, Day candy, honestly. Yeah. Uh, that that stuff just can't be healthy What's your favorite? for you. Is there different <laughs> flavors? <laughs> oh yeah, there's there is. Like, there's which, a whole bunch. Which one's your favorite? Uh, probably like I think they had like a cherry one. I was gonna say cherry is definitely that one was really yeah. good. the best. I feel probably. like it's getting worse though. What do you mean? Like it's starting to taste more and more like medicine. <laughs> <than> like- <laughs> yeah, the more because I think you realize like this is just so terrible yeah, for you. Not- and you don't even want to know <laughs> right. what's in it. You're like, oh, man, I shouldn't be eating this. Started, what kind of candy are you this. eating that tastes like medicine? <laughs> well, the fun dip nowadays is different. I guess Maybe I haven't had it, it. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they do. Baby, baby bottle pops still taste the same. 
I, I never had those. one. Those are toxic. Did you have baby bottle pops? <laughs> uh, my kids did, yes. Yes, yeah. over and over and yeah. over again. I begged my dad every time I stepped to the gas station. I either wanted a ring pop or a baby bottle pop. Ring pops, mm-hmm. ring good. pops. Ring pop. Ring pops. Or, but baby bottle pops had that little theme song that gets stuck in your head. <laughs> How's it go? I'm not going to. I'm not even going <laughs> to. Give us your rendition. Come on. <laughs> it's so dun, bad. Dun, dun, dun. Duh. No, it's like baby bottle pop, baby oh, bottle yeah. pop. Oh, and then it's yeah. like. Shake it, dip it, or something. I don't remember because you would like shake it and you turn it over and then you dip your like yeah yeah sucker in it. Or I was so this thing with the ring pops. You ever get one and you open it and it was broken? Yeah, that, that would make me so, so sad. Yeah. It's just like in a bunch of little pieces. You're like <laughs> it's like devastation. Oh, like at that point, just throw it away. <laughs> First world problems. I know. <laughs> so from child in Haiti, how devastated you were because your ring My pop, ring was, pop broken. was broken. <laughs> but would that make them more devastated because they don't have? Ring pops. Yeah. I actually know um, a pastor from, <clears throat> I think it's Uganda, somewhere over there. But um, anyways, he would not try ice cream here. Like we took him out to dinner and he, and we were like, hey, do you want some ice cream? They don't have ice cream over there, or at least not in the village he's in. He's like, no, I never want to try ice cream because I'll just be back in, he's in out, my, man. well, he was like, I'll just be back in my country, be wishing I could have uh, ice cream. Oh, I'd just smart. rather never try it. Smart. Uh, yeah, I get smart guy. Maybe, I don't doing. know. I mean. I'd go for the ice cream. I would go for it, man. I'd just <laughs> be good like, ice cream, man. It's just another reason to come just, back. <laughs> maybe you should just get like some really bad ice cream. That's true. And then he like, be like, oh, it's terrible. Or maybe we it. should just like send him like ice cream on like, like chilled, not chilled ice. What is the ice that like uh, does it? Uh, like, you dry can't ice. touch dry ice. Dry, dry ice. That's <laughs> great. I should That's... do that. <laughs> just send him totes and totes of like ice cream on dried ice. That, that could work. Maybe. Anyways. Okay. Moving on. Cause we are quickly running out of time this time. So there's a trend going on around right now about how long you can go without washing your hair. I've Yikes. seen some of this. And I haven't. what I've got right here is 93 days, but I personally saw two days ago a reel with a girl who had not washed her hair and it was over 100. It was like 120 something days. Like four, but you wash it with months. water still, months. right? No. Not water? No, nothing. I mean, I'm assuming she must get it slightly wet when she showers. But like her whole thing, the whole thing is like, don't wash your hair because it's not good for your hair. That is. It's not good for your hair? That's like their whole thing. I mean, I don't know. Like, I know washing your hair is too much. Days without washing I, your. I just, I don't know how I feel about this. I've seen, I've just seen my hair some of that be stuff. Gray. And it's like for the first <laughs> week, it's like, like terrible. Mine. And then after you get past that, like first week or like this isn't couple true. Weeks, huh? It apparently the max gets I can make without washing my hair is three days, and after that, it's just going three to days. be three days. Wow, going to be just oil everywhere. It's going to yeah. be gross. Probably I know, but does it eventually s- like stop if you don't? <sighs> People tell me it's supposed to, but it's never worked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. that's like, but what's the longest you've gone? You think? Probably. I think probably four. Probably no more than four, and I was like, me you wearing wash hats. it at camp. Yeah, of course uh, I wash it at camp. Mm. What? You don't? Do you not <laughs> no. shower at camp? No, you cannot take that no. risk. What? You cannot take that I risk. I go the whole mm. week without showering. No, uh-uh. you don't. I uh-uh. promise. I don't uh-uh. do anything. Pat, besides. we're sending you to camp. I'm like, never going. I'm never going back to speak at camp again. <laughs> <laughs> <They don't> shower. <laughs> How do you not smell terrible? They, okay. they kind of do. Everyone, everyone stinks. You already stink. So you just, just don't feel bad. But what's the risk? What is the risk so, that mm, we have here? What is going not on? Not showering? Yeah. What's the, you get? I don't know. If you showering, you're showering with a swimsuit uh-huh. on because you will get. Oh yeah. What? You'll get got. You'll get got. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how much I should. People will pull pull curtains and you know. It depends do all on that. how See, the water is happen. up at the new camp. I don't know. It's up in Amish country. So do we'll you see at least that, swim we'll that, or anything? Do I swim? Not yeah. last year. Not the past few years. That pond Pat, is a I'm so disturbed. I am too. I'm Nick, not- what are you guys doing at Boys Camp? <laughs> <laughs> not showering. Listen, if you Clearly. get some like showers with like doors that will lock on them, I'll shower. But I don't oh. trust. I don't. I'm oh, just do I it saying I don't trust the that. other people. That's oh, no, crazy. I don't trust the water. <laughs> you I don't, don't trust, trust the people. water? Yeah. What's in the camp water? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. That's crazy. No, it's just too much of a risk. It's not worth it. It's different though because you guys are boys as far as going back to the hair at least. Yeah. yeah. Like you can have like you can wear hats all the time. Just don't not just me, wear hats all but, the time. Yeah. No, yeah. but like so how long can you go without washing your hair? Probably a week and a half. But I don't do that. I wash it 
like once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. What about you, Pat? I take a shower every day. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I heard people saying that that's bad. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's. Like, he I don't know if that's fine. actually, I know. Uh, uh, he's I know, healthy. but people, he's good. I've been at it for I, like 66 good, years and I'm that's good. That's what I'm <laughs> so. I don't get it. People are like, taking a shower every day is bad for your hair and skin or whatever. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it yeah. is. I'm not a health expert, so. Yeah. I mean, I don't Maybe that's why I'm gray though. And I, I just thought it was age, but maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe it's the water. Showers. Maybe it's showers. I've taken Anti- too many. Anti-aging, <clears throat> don't shower. Yeah. That's there we the go. message that we're hearing. Maybe. Hey, we're going to check out this segment really quick and then we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back to this segment. We are doing what liquid tastes best with cereal. First up, we're going to do the mocha frappuccino with the honey nut. Cheerios. <laughs> Let's get into it. So Valentine's first, edition because they're heart shaped. Can I just get rid of the box? Yeah. I'm gonna just, just chuck it. Boom. <laughs> and then we explode and then we open it up. Yeah. All right. So my boy Grant is uh-huh. opening it up. We got a big Pass, old family size balls. Cheerios. Yeah. All uh-huh. right. Uh-huh. 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 There you go. Oh my gosh. They're heart shaped. Oh, we do. How they're nice. Really cute. They're heart shaped. They're so cute. All righty. Pull that up so they don't get stale, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mm. All right, there you go, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't get any. Do this. I didn't get any. Here, just trade me. No. Fine. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay. First up, mocha frappuccino. Let's see how this tastes. I hate. Oh. It actually. <laughs> <laughs> I need a nap. All right, we're all going three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is nasty. It's not that bad. No, that's oh. foul. <laughs> Can I have a paper towel? How is it bad? It tastes normal. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's bad about Can it? Can I have a paper towel, please? <laughs> Oh. I don't understand what's bad about it. <laughs> oh. I mean, I mean. No, I almost threw that up. That is oh. just... No. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand what's bad about it. No. No, oh, you're Stop. bad. Stop. Is that from, this is you? You're a messy of... eater. Oh my God. <laughs> I poured it and it went everywhere. So like. Do we just keep pouring things? All right, rate it out of 10. What do you got? It's not bad. Why does bo- it taste bad? Like, what about it tastes it's bad? It's nasty. It tastes, first of all, honey, like cherry. Hold on, can I ask a question, though? Do you guys like coffee? Nope. I mean, coffee is the devil's oh. juice. I will not be told. When otherwise. it's cold. Okay, if you like coffee, if, if you like mocha, mm-hmm. like, if you like mm-hmm. mocha coffee, this all tastes right. fine. Red Bull. This is up next. 160 calories. Deadly. But good. Very good. <laughs> Very Let's good. Get it. You want to open it? Yes. All right. She's got ASM. Excited. No, no, ASM. Oh, I literally God. haven't had one in four years. Oh, yes. Yeah. Basically, she might. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here you go. <laughs> it's sizzling. <laughs> what is it? Four. Four. It's slow. <laughs> I throw up on this dude. Okay, hurry up. Delicious. What is wrong with you? <laughs> the question is, can I have the rest? No, I, what? <laughs> no, you're gonna die on the way home. <laughs> okay, All right. are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> My heart beating like that. Okay, it just tastes like a honey nut cheerio yeah, at Red Bull. Are you doing okay? <laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> what? What is wrong? Okay, if you guys are doing... That's pretty good. Okay, I'll do it, I guess. <laughs> it literally just tastes like a honey nut Cheerio and Red Bull. <laughs> Ew! Let's go. <laughs> Bro, I thought the fizz going... <laughs> <laughs> <Where he goes>. <laughs> 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 All right, that's better than the mocha. That's pretty good. 
Yeah. We're going to need like a thousand paper towels. We're probably going to go through this whole thing. Oh, what are you rating this? Okay, you're an addict. You gotta, you gotta stop. Get this away, bro. Oh. <laughs> give me it, give me it, give me it. Sailor! 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 We don't push okay. it. Oh, Where gosh. do you live? No, no. Ah, oh, man, that was. That was. That was I can't tell if that was good that or bad. That was so good. I would give that what a solid. What do you want? It's so, it was delicious. I'd that was that, a 10 out of 10. I'll give that a solid 5. I'll give it a, mm, I'll give it a 5.5 just so I can be better than you, you know? That's what's okay, up. Okay, I'll, I'll realistically give it Thank like a. Thank you. 8.5. Next up, Sprite. Right. You've never How? had Sprite. You've never had Sprite. But you've had Red Bull? Don't crush me. Okay, so basically if this explodes on us, it's going all over you. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Stop. We dropped it too many times trying to get that right. All right, just. I'm about to, you ever see those videos of the people where it like blows up and they <laughs> stick their mouth on it? I'm scared. You're scared. Give me you a. Never had Sprite? Yeah. You never had Sprite. I think my dad tricked me into doing it. You did not give me enough. Mm, my bad. Mm. Mm. You gotta drench it. Okay, chill, bro. Chill, chill. <laughs> All right, here, take a sip before you. Thank First you. time trying Sprite, caught on camera. It's a lot of sugar. Okay. What's it supposed to taste I think like? You're addicted to sugar. <laughs> What's it supposed to taste like? I'm not addicted 63 to sugar. 63 grams of sugar. Golly, right? what? <laughs> But it just tastes fizzy. Like, Sprite it doesn't kills, taste like anything. Bro. Holy. All right. All right. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. I didn't get the Sprite. Why just, are you eating so much? That's so bad. You yeah. like it, don't you? Mm -mm. That's gross. Yeah, no, like this is so bad. This is actually like so bad. It's not worse than the. It's not worse than the I mocha. Really don't the mocha like was it. horrible. The mocha was actually nasty. <laughs> this uh, was worse than the mocha. What? <laughs> you are, <laughs> you're drinking? No. I would give this a solid. Mm. That's disgusting. I'll give this a two. Accounting for flavors and the complex it's palette the of it. It's a one. The aftertaste of like the honey and the sugar. I don't like just, it. I'm giving it a. Maybe I a just don't like Sprite because I didn't like it. Like that was gross. A three. Next up, we have a watermelon poppy. Mm. I don't know what a poppy is, honestly. It's a digestive soda. Wow. But like, it's a pro, what is it's that? It's a probiotic digestive soda. So it has like a ton of vitamins <laughs> in it and it's supposed to help you digest it's your pink. food. It's supposed to help you digest your food. That's too fancy for me. Guess what? It's watermelon. You know what that means. All right, Malachi. I have to eat all oh, of this. Oh, it smells good. Okay. I'm scared. Was that a black joke? All right, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. No, no, no! I think that can be good on I'm its gonna own. I'm gonna act like I love it just because it's watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it smells interesting. It's mm. that's a one. That's that's pretty terrible. I'm just gonna be honest there. This is worse than the sprite. I can't. This is mm -mm. this is like a negative for me. Hold on, let me just try. It's it's not worse than the sprite. I think it's worse than the sprite. What? I think it, it alone as a drink is good, not in cereal. Milk still reigns supreme. I agree. All right. With that. I agree so with that. this was a watermelon poppy. Watermelon poppy. Never heard of it. What are you giving it? Negative one. Negative. Wow. One. <laughs> it's worse than the sprite, and I gave the sprite. What a did one. I give the sprite two? Yeah. All right, three. Wow, bold move. I mean, mm -hmm. I said it was better than Sprite. So. I mean, I guess, I guess. All right, next up is Blue Gatorade. Yeah. Gatorade. I haven't had Gatorade in a minute, man. I don't think I've ever had Blue Gatorade. I've had... Why do you just not... Do you just drink water? Yeah, and coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's blue. <laughs> it it kind of okay. looks like they're, like, floating in a pool. I just... I don't have high hopes looks for like this, they're floating I'm going to be honest. I'm going to pre... I'm going to pre-guess at a two. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna pre -guess. Yeah, It actually smells pretty good. I smell nothing. That smells like bleach. This is <laughs> gonna be rough. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. That's so 
bad. Whoa. Oh my gosh, wait, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Negative four. That's horrible. Negative, like, I, mean, that's horrible. I don't even know what. That's awful. I mean, that's, that is, mm-mm. You, oh, nah, you're. Oh, my God. He's cooking. To, no, I was, <laughs> I was trying to get, like, an actual nah. taste of the Gatorade. That is terrible. That is I don't awful. know. I think it's probably yeah. it's, that is ungodly bad. That it's is not really bad. bad. Like that's the worst one we've had. No. In agreement? No. That's what? That's, that's from the pit of hell. I right think there. That's Grant, better. Are we in agreement that's the worst one? That's okay. yes. Malachi doesn't count. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> Alright, All next up, we got ghost energy. I don't Ugh. What is it? It's orange cream. Ew. I don't have high hopes. I don't like Whoever orange cream. Whoever created this things. needs to go to jail. There's literally a warning on it that says <laughs> I shouldn't be drinking it. So this is this Wait, might what does be it rough. Say? Are any of us 18? You, nope. Okay. Uh oh. No one tell my okay. mom. We can sue them. There you mm, go. I don't like the way it's fizzing up. Okay. My stomach is going through a lot of emotions right now. It'll be okay. Face, Here we go. Ready? Three. Oh, no. Okay. Three, like three, three, two, three, two, one, two, one. go. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. That's so bad. That's so bad. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that that's bad. the worst There's one we've had. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> so I feel like they're just getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with what you're doing right now. Oh no. Are you yeah. crying? Dude, that is bad. That's terrible. That is so <laughs> terrible. Oh. That's, that's negative. Mm -mm. I'm not even gonna score that. Next we have prime ice pop flavor. <sighs> I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Mama didn't raise no quitter. Last one. Last one. <laughs> Hardy. Last but not least. I can, I can do this. Dude, just, this is actually. Just, let's go. Just get it over. Oh, oh my gosh, and it smells like one though. Like, you know, like the rainbow popsicles you get oh, for 4th yeah. of July? It smells exactly like Let me it. Get another smell, bowl. It. smell it. I'm, another, I'm gonna need no, bowl. Smell no. it. Smell no. it. Smell it. Smell it. Okay, it smells good. It smells, smells really good. Smells can be it's... deceiving. Vanilla smells really good. <laughs> Ever tried to take a you hit have of vanilla? To add something to Terrible. vanilla. Grant. It's horrible. Grant. All right. <laughs> Ready, we gotta go here. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. Four. Mm. That's not that bad. It's not. But it's That's not that not good that either. Bad. It's not good, it's but it's not that best. bad. It's probably the best. I'm giving it a four. What did I rate? No, that's was Red, Red Bull. Bull. The best was Red Bull? Yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. None of them got above a I seven. I forgot about that. Yeah. I None also liked the mocha one, ten. but... We don't need extra bowls. We ain't no quitter. Boom, <laughs> boys. All right. So All right. What do you give that? I give that a. I give that a four. four. Not bad. Not good. I agree with that. I give that, that a four. Five. Mm. Four. Mm. All righty. We have a winner. Red Bull was the best one, even though it's probably the worst for us. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think the Ghost are... Energy was the oh, worst yeah, one for us. It's at eighteen plus. Yeah. But that's true. thanks for joining us. Thanks for being. Oh my gosh. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna go back to the uh, set. Thanks for. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Red Bull One. We're gonna go back to this. Mm, my lip, you got it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this segment. Red Bull was our winner. We all really liked it. And hope you enjoy the rest of the podcast. So, okay, so we have like these kind of weird trends that kind of pass through generations. What were some of the weird like trends from your generation? Um. There was a lot of drugs. I, <laughs> <laughs> that was a trend right that there. That was a lot uh, of drugs. He started it. Uh, drugs. His generation started yeah. it. <clears throat> um, let's see. I think you uh, you stumped me there. It was so long ago. Um, you know, when I look at the way people dress now, it's the same. It just all cycled back around. In between, yeah. it was pretty weird, but we cycled right back around. I, you know, if I'd have kept all my clothes from the seventies, they'd fit in perfectly with my right now. My parents are always talking about that. They're like making, they're like taking jabs at Grace because they're like, I used to wear that when I was a kid, and yeah. now you're paying a premium <laughs> price for yeah. it. It's like okay, yeah. it's scary because yeah. it's like who's controlling this? Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. Mm-hmm. Social media. The, yeah. The recycle people probably because they kept it. They knew this would happen yeah. or they made it happen. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, we, uh, I think there was a time um, when I was in high school that uh, a fad was streaking. Streaking. Yeah, where you took off all your clothes and put on a mask <laughs> and ran through a public place. <clears throat> what? You can look no. it up. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Never heard of streaking? I no, mean, I've like, I've heard Sounds of that, like but like, yeah. <laughs> okay, actually, this does remind me one time I was driving what? down like the highway. Oh, yeah. And that was me. No, okay, I'll start I'm driving <laughs> down Dr. Alicia. the highway. <laughs> and this guy is on a bike. On the highway. Yeah. Like we're talking a four, maybe five, but for certainly a four lane highway. Guy has nothing on yeah. except for a panda, like, like a costume, like a full on panda head. Yeah. And I was literally like, what do you do? I have kids in the like car and I don't right want here. to be like, oh, hey, go don't that look because they're going to look. Yeah. But like, I don't know what you're doing on a bike on the highway. <laughs> yeah. That's foul. <laughs> I was that's foul. You can't like, close your eyes because yeah. <laughs> you're driving. Yeah, yeah you, you can't. Hit the guy on accident. I was just like, what is going on? It actually ended up being in the news, and I was like, yeah, I was there. Oh, I, I saw <laughs> that on the news. And yeah, it was like three years ago or something uh, yeah. crazy. Is, oh my gosh, yeah, uh, that's like, crazy. Like, streaking came and went pretty quick because I <laughs> would hope so. There's yeah. only a few people uh, who really Lord, wanted to do Jesus. it. <laughs> they do it, but they did it like at at. NFL games and Major League Baseball now, games and stuff. Yeah. Now people that Did do they that get are arrested? just like protesting. Yeah. yeah. They just like. But the, mostly the police didn't like, I'm not grabbing them. Yeah, not like, who's going to handle that? We'll just, we'll just kind of corral them out of the way of everybody. That's where it gets passed down to like the lowest person yeah. in the ranking. The new like, guy. You get that. The new guy. <laughs> the yeah. new guy gets water, <laughs> water boy. Yeah. Get Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> Grounds crew. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, uh, Pat, tell us a little bit. You have some interesting hobbies. And one of them is that you like to run, like, uh, not the Tough Mudder, although I think you've done a Tough Mudder, but yeah. like the Spartan races. I do. I do. Um, you know, uh, it's just running through the mud, through the woods, and climbing on things and over things and under things, just like when I was 12. So it's, mm. it's real fun to do. Um, uh, we were talking about this recently. When I was, a, I can't, I, we were, I wasn't poor, but we just didn't have a lot of toys to play with. Outside was your toy. Yeah. You ran through the woods, you played, you climbed trees, you played ball. That was play. And there wasn't anything to do inside because there was no cable TV or video games or any of that stuff. So you just went outside and played. And that's where it was. It was by the river, by the creek, up a tree. So to go out and be in all those elements, it's fun. I like, yeah. I love, I love to. Uh, we did one, uh, my friend and I did one in Nashville two years ago, and it was a monsoon. It just poured rain no. like crazy. It was the funnest day really? in hmm. many years for me. It was so fun. That is crazy. <clears throat> so I actually ran a Spartan race, not with you, but in, in the same race. Same race, did. yes. That was fun. And it was so much fun. But this is what's crazy. Like, you guys just don't even know. This guy is a freaking beast. I start in a heat. So they do it like in heat cycles where you start, like a group starts in the next group. And so he's starting the cycle after me, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, me and my friends, we take off and we weren't like crazy fast, but we weren't slow. We were in the middle of the group and like not 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes into it. This guy charges past me <laughs> and I'm like, hi, Pat. He's like, hi, he's not even breaking a sweat. Bro's going up the hill. And I oh, was, I was like, breaking a sweat. <laughs> he was like killing it though. And Man. the rest of the time, the chant that me and my friends were saying to ourselves, if Pat can do it, we, we can, can do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like, start saying that about everything, <laughs> everything. I was like, that is amazing. I'm going to do this because yeah. Cause it was, it was so much fun. I actually laughed so much because it was just like, what am I doing out here? But I was having a great time. Yeah. They but are it fun. was hard. It they was are hard. hard. They're very hard. So it's a combination of super fun and super hard. So I don't know what that yeah. right word is, <laughs> but it's it's very challenging and very rewarding when you're done. You got a piece of steel to wear around your neck and it's a great reward. Have you ever done <clears throat> all three? I have not. Um, the, the, the shorter distance is enough for me. If I was going to do the longer distances, I'd have to train more and work harder and all that stuff. And yeah. I don't want it that bad. How long are the shorter <clears throat> races? 5K? 5K. Okay. With about 20 okay. obstacles or so. Yeah. That's not nice. terrible. Yeah. And they go yeah. beyond that. And um, 
I do it because if I, if I have a race on the calendar, then I don't sit on the couch and watch television. I have to get, yeah. I have to exercise. What do you do to like train for it? Um, so those races, everything starts in your core and works out. So I work a lot on my core okay. strength and my, um, aerobic cause it's a lot of running. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, and you can do as well or as poorly as you want to. It's just a fun day to run through the woods and climb on stuff. And they've got man-made obstacles that are real fun, yeah. giant monkey bars and stuff. It's a blast. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It is a lot of fun. I <clears throat> trained for three months poorly. But I still made it through. So yeah. I think you can still get through. I only failed like two of the obstacles, yeah. which wasn't bad. The hardest one to me was the rope climbing. Yeah, it is tough. <sighs> I couldn't do it. I yeah. was like just climbing hard. up a rope? Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. I trained with like a rope this big. Yeah. And then when I got there, the rope was that big. <laughs> and you oh, wouldn't I think see. that would make that much of a difference. It does. It makes a huge difference. A huge difference. Yeah. And then you don't calculate... Like you're having all these other people that are on ropes because there's like five of them maybe. And they're like swinging and kicking. And yeah. then I was just like, oh, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the 20 burpees or 30 or whatever it was. Forget <laughs> it. Like, oh, so there's like uh, consequences. Oh, okay. if yeah. If you can't. Okay. 30 burpees. Yeah. yeah. Right. A lot of and people skip that. But I yeah. was like, no. No. It's part I'm of the race. I'm going to do it. I will do it. <laughs> it's the part of the race. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I failed my first rope climb too. Yeah. It was so hard. Yeah. I was just not pre pre yeah. prepared for that. But And then I hung a rope in my backyard and practiced. Yeah. That's dedication right Did you there. hang it on a tree? What'd you hang it on? Yeah, I hung it on a tree. My my uh, someday have Karen on the podcast and ask her about when I hung the rope on the tree. It's quite <laughs> oh, a story. <no. laughs> I bet your neighbors think that's quite interesting. Well, that's part of the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Well, that's so cool though. I think that that is such a unique and inspiring thing to do because um, a lot of people that are in your generation aren't doing like active things like that. And so I think it's just a great way to keep yourself moving, but also like to inspire us, us younger people. Like there's so much more to live for as you are like getting into your later years, like they can actually be your best years. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're having so much fun. I mean, there, there's so much to do. And for many years, we were working, 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 laboring, doing this, going here, going there. And um, now we have time to play. Yeah. And so we're playing. That's, That's awesome. Nice. Fun. That's so cool. So what is like your, like, I'm trying to think of like the word I want to use here. Like, Favorite thing from last year, like that you did, 2023. Did you do anything that was like this? Oh is awesome. yeah, we went to Alaska. That's awesome. We went, that that was that was a life changer. Yeah. There were times we just pinched ourselves and wondered, are we still on Earth? Never really? saw anything like it. Just amazing, and icebergs and eagles and mountains where nobody lives for hundreds of miles. Oh and wow! You know that you if you jumped off this boat that you're on and swam to shore, there'd be nothing, no one, no store, no gas station no people and if you did find a person you'd probably want to run because they they're there on because they don't want to be around anybody <laughs> yeah. so, they're trying to escape yeah, they are, they're hiding so yeah um, yeah it was it was just amazing whales breaching and all that kind of really cool stuff so we that's awesome it was it was uh it was very inspiring yeah. It's just hard to believe yeah. that there's a place on earth that's quite like that. Yeah. It's so cool when you like travel the world and you just see what like God has made. Like yeah. he's made a lot of amazing things. Yeah. Well, I want to take it back for a second, back to kind of this Valentine's Day, since, you know, that's where we're at at this moment. And maybe Pat, maybe you can help give us some wisdom and some viewers wisdom, like relationships, maybe like how have they changed over the years? Have they changed at all? since you were young. And then like, what do you think makes for healthy relationships, whether it's romantic or just like between friends and family? Well, what makes for a healthy relationship is respect. You have to, you have to care about the other person and they have to, um, they have to be willing to receive that care. Yeah. I think, um, I think relationships are not different now. Culture is a little different, but I think people love or dislike trust or mistrust just the same as always. Mm -hmm. But um, um, if for a Valentine's relationship, if we're talking about a love relationship, you have to, if you're a believer, it's got to be with another believer. Yeah, you yeah. can't be unequally yeah. yoked. Yeah. Yeah. It, it will be it will clash every minute of every day and you'll be fooling yourself into thinking that this is working. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be strictly a 
attracted because they have a good sense of humor or they're attractive to look at. But after that, you have so little in common anymore. And that's difficult. Now you're fighting to have a relationship rather than enjoying it. I just talked about going to Alaska. The best part about it was I was with my best friend and we yeah. laughed and wondered and just enjoyed all that together. That is just so critical to have that common bond. Yeah. And, you know, for us, of course, we're married and we have the Lord right in the smack in the center of that. We're that three-stranded cord that Ecclesiastes talks about. And so with that kind of a relationship, you know, not every day in every relationship is everything smooth and yeah. silky. Right. You have to work through things sometimes. And every time I have a problem with her um, and I go to the Lord about it. He never wants to talk to me about her. Never, not once in all of these years. It's always me he wants to talk about. But the same thing happens with her. With him in the center of that, it always draws us closer and tighter. Yeah. And you work through those difficult things and you come out stronger than you were when you started. So to do that without him in the middle, you're friends at best. And and acquaintances or co-workers or brothers or sisters, but that closeness, that real loving relationship, he has to be in the center of it. Yeah. To have that without him doesn't work. It yeah. just yeah. doesn't. And Pat, I know we're running out of time, but I do think like your story of like coming to know Jesus is is crazy. It's actually one of the most, my favorite stories I've yeah. ever heard. Could you just like, I don't know if uh, Malachi or Grant have heard it. Maybe they have, but we'd I've just love to hear you. that really quick if okay. you don't mind. Okay. So if, if you saw the Jesus Revolution movie, that was the time that we came to the Lord too. And at that time, there was a revival that was really sweeping. That showed uh, Southern California, but this was happening everywhere, all around the world. And um, Karen and I were um, alcoholic drug addicts. We'd been married for a year. We were, our lives were a mess and there was no direction. We were just bumbling through day after day after day. And you couldn't go anywhere without somebody telling you about Jesus. Or it was, you know, and the, the tabloids at the end of the aisle at the grocery store were talking about, you know, even if it was something as weird as Satan's skull discovered in Madagascar, you know, something about the Bible was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Billy Graham was on TV every night and showing a crusade. So all of this was happening. And I was fighting as hard as I could because I knew I was sure there was no God. Yeah. There yeah. couldn't be one. And I... And I was valiantly holding on to that belief. And uh, uh, Karen and I were um, babysitting for some friends of ours. They were moving out of town and they had five kids. So we stayed at their house. And what we didn't know is that uh, Jim and Jackie sent their kids to the Baptist church every Sunday on the Baptist bus. So when we were there one day, workers from the church came to see how come Jim and Jackie don't go to church and their kids do. And Pat and Karen were there. <laughs> so they were talking. Now, Karen had just come to the Lord, but we didn't know what that even meant. And I was now really fighting hard because I'm going to lose my marriage now because I can't be married to this. This isn't going to work. And so these ladies, Karen had thousands of questions because she didn't know what had happened to her. So she's asking all these questions and I'm, I'm, I'm furious. I'm fuming. I was the world's rudest man. I was sitting on the couch growling like a bear. These spirits were just, Arr! and I was, I, I was so angry. And finally they were getting ready to leave. And as they left, the, uh, the one woman looked at me and she said, honey, you're going to be okay. Cause I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> oh, I came up off of that couch. I was about ready to throw them out. If I, if they wouldn't have walked out the door, I might have. But for the next 30 days, I was haunted by those words. Uh, I called it haunted because I didn't like it. I could not stop thinking about all the answers that they had and all the things that they knew. And the Holy Spirit was just dogging me. So one night I just decided, all right, we're going to have this out. I'm going to pray. I'm going to call on God because he's not really there. And I, I just, I just decided to call him out and prove once and for all that he wasn't real. Yeah. 
So I went into my bedroom and, uh, and raised with my Catholicism. I folded my hands just the way the nuns taught me. I'm giving him every chance. I got down on my knees. I knelt next to the bed and, uh, there were drugs under the bed cause we sold drugs. And, uh, I, I folded my hands and I said, all right, God, if you're real, and that's as far as I got. The presence of God came into my bedroom just like you sitting here in these seats right now. I didn't see him with my eyes, but I didn't have to. It was so real and so powerful. And I was frightened, so scared because I knew I am in so much trouble. (laughs) (laughs) And I screamed at the top of my lungs, help, because I knew I was, it was over. And when I got done screaming, I lifted up my head and in my heart, I knew it's going to be all right. He is real and he's not bothered by me. He'll take me just the way I am. I knew it. And as miraculous as all that was, I still didn't know a single scripture verse. We went to church the next Sunday because if you're a Jesus person, that's what Jesus people do. They go to church on Sunday. So we found out that there was a church not far from us. So we went to this church and we sat there and he gave a salvation message because this church gives 52 of those a year. And at the end, he said, if you want Jesus as your Lord, come up front. And so I did that that Sunday. But that Thursday night before was the night that I called on the name of the Lord and I was saved. And we just began to walk all that out. And so many things, every day was a lesson. And, uh, you know, we didn't know any Bible verses. We didn't, we had a Bible, but it was one of those giant family Bibles that was in the bottom of the cedar chest. You couldn't carry it without a wheelbarrow, but (laughs) we, we found out we should probably have one of our own that we would actually read and stuff like that. And we began to learn. We found out how to pray and we asked everybody questions and people began to take an interest in us and help us and walk us along. And that was in 1979. So that's 45 years ago that we came to him and never, not once before this, I could say that, but after I've never said, I am never doing that again. Yeah. You know, it's just been, it's been awesome. That's so great. So awesome. That's so cool. I just love how God will chase you down. Like he did, he didn't let us go. And I think there might've been a time that I finally would have said no more, leave me alone. And I, maybe he would have, I don't know. I'm sure glad I didn't get to that place, Yeah. Yeah. but he just kept on. And, you know, just as a side note, there was a fellow at my workplace that was always telling me about Jesus. And, uh, so Monday, the first thing I did was go to him and say, guess what happened to me? And I told him how I came to the Lord. And it was the 70s. And he looked at me and he said, that's great. (laughs) So when are you going to cut your hair? Oh. Wow. And I thought, is this a problem? (laughs) Because he didn't say nothing to me about that when I was kneeling next to the bed. Yeah. 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 And, you know, he didn't say anything to me about the drugs under the bed. None of that was the issue. He wanted my heart yeah. Yeah. and I gave him my heart and he was very, very happy. And I have, was ecstatic. And we began that relationship from there. And I began to learn that all of the external outward stuff is not the stuff that he's so intimately concerned about. Yeah. It's yeah. the condition of my heart and all the rest of the stuff either increases or decreases based on that. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we've been doing for all these years and I continue to do that and for all eternity. We'll just grow in those things. That's awesome. That's so great. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on today, oh, sir. Thank, thank you, you for, for joining me. us and hanging out with us. Your shoes were great, by the way. Oh, I was awesome. so worried. You passed. <laughs> You're a great guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, well, thanks for joining us for another episode of It's Not That Serious. We'll see you next time.